How did Harvard University lose all of its prestige? I think that, you know, it's an interesting perspective and topic of discussion for me to have because my sister went there and, you know, she majored in neuroscience. And it's kind of funny because even though obviously I never talked about her, you know, about neuroscience much with her, I really did a lot of research in it. And it's just kind of funny how it runs in our family about, you know, between me and her. And, you know, when I went there, when she was for graduation in 2005, it was, you know, it was an interesting place. And, you know, I even remember being there because, you know, we met up with her friends and stuff. And, you know, my parents had just taken me there just, you know, so that we could all be there together as a family. And it was definitely a fun time and even something that I still remember now and how I was playing video games and, you know, someone was coming and looking at me and, you know, he was just like being nice to me. But you know, but it really goes to show about obviously from 2005 to now, it's like 19 years, a lot has changed and that all has to do with what everybody knows about happened last October with all those student organizations signing that horrible letter. <laughs> and it's like, you know, everyone said they were wrong. Larry Summers, who was the previous president there was said it was wrong. Everybody said they were wrong uh, to sign that terrible letter. And then, you know, they, they tried to, they tried to do so many things like from, you know, like, uh, <laughs> like trying to hide behind the legal shield of the university. It's like, look, if I said that, like as a hypothetical, if I said that, or if someone said that, like, I wouldn't try to hide behind anything. You guys can even see from my YouTube channel that I say a lot of things that, you know, you know, just I think of and I believe in, you know, when I express it, I never try to put anybody down or express any type of contempt towards any type of group of people at all. And, you know, <laughs> some people just like take offense to things, you know, when you're not even trying to do anything or you're just trying to make a joke or put things into perspective. But when you sign a letter like this, like <laughs> it's like one of the worst things that someone can do for their for his or her career. And, you know, YouTube, it's like a completely different situation because if you're really trying to express yourself and articulate yourself and you're talking about science and math, like how I talk about a lot of things in biology, and you really frame your perspectives very precisely and you actually really talk about what you mean and why you actually feel this way and how this could impact a business, it's a completely different situation than bunch than you know using a bunch of inflammatory rhetoric and how all these people never even took responsibility for anything that they're saying and they're still trying to skirt responsibility and all of the people there obviously they should not only be ashamed of themselves but they're pretty much the reason why it lost pretty much all of its procedure if not all of it because you know it's like what does the admissions committee at these at for different programs at Harvard University you know talk about if these are the type of people that they're letting in and not even have some common sense and decency to at least you know respect people and mourn for the people who lost their lives because if they feel so strongly about the cause or whatever is going on there, they should just move to wherever, you know, whatever uh, region of the world they're expressing concern about. And then they can try to exercise their activism there. They don't have to, they don't have to do all these silly things and sign this letter and try to put it online and like try to make, you know, uh, try to, you know, like make their point by, you know, using a bunch of words that, you know, sound ridiculous when they're put together and how everybody says they're wrong. And then they try to, you know, get rid of the letter because even if they put up the letter, people always had screenshots, but it's like, what does taking down the letter have to do with anything? You guys already put the letter up. What is taking it down going to do? And all these organizations at the school, you know, from, you know, at many different types of parts of the school, they all said these things like trying to renege responsibility, like, oh, they're praying for the region. And, you know, <laughs> they like really want, you know, there to be peace and everything. And like, you know, that's such a irresponsible thing to do, you know, like, especially even, you know, after the matter of the fact has happened and everyone called them out and they were all getting blasted on social media. And it's hilarious to read about the comments about those people. There are so many people who leave them comments and talk about, you know, what they're doing and everything. And I just really think it goes to show that those types of people, they should be thankful for the opportunity to study at that type of school in the first place. And they should really be focusing on their studies, not doing some type of activism and trying to, you know, uh, <laughs> like express some type of very radical opinion, because 
it's not only not going to get anywhere, but it's just going to ultimately, it's going to damage the investment because if someone is like paying for a school or whatever, and you're not actually there to study anything of value or of, me of value or of meaning, and you're not, and you know, you're going around signing like little ridiculous letters, um, it doesn't really reflect good on your time there, even if you do go to a top school.